Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here and today I have come up with a very amazing problem of uh, mechanics plus magnetism fusion and it's an uh, original problem. So guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together and name of this problem is magnetic pull on a disc and a ring. Guys, my current courses on Unacademy are uh, course of INPHO Foundation and for J Advanced 2023. And uh, advanced problem solving uh, for J Advanced 2021 part one has uh, been completed and uh, part two is going to resume very soon. And uh, advanced GT for J Advanced 2021 in special classes. These are free classes. Today also there is one uh, uh, advanced GT. So please participate in that. And uh, advanced courses for J 2022 in Hindi and English will start from 20th and uh, have already started from 20th and 23rd of April. Guys, you can access my last year's theory courses which are of advanced plus plus level for boosting your J preparation and you can unlock these courses on Unacademy using my code Nathan sir. For more information you can visit www.unacademy.com and uh, guys trust me physics will never be the same again. So here is the problem statement a tiny current carrying ring of radius R0 uh, and having a current of I0 is placed at uh, the actually symmetric uh, magnetic field which depends on the x coordinate of a given coordinate system as bx is equal to a x square plus r square to the power uh, 1 by n where a and n are constant the magnetic field close to the ring has magnitude of uh, b naught this tiny ring is connected to a non-magnetic uh, neutral uh, disk of mass m and radius of r with the help of insulated strings as shown in the figure which is placed on a uh, rough surface having friction coefficient of mu uh, what is the limiting value of mu so that the ring can roll without slipping here i'm assuming mass of ring is uh, uh, negligible otherwise this problem will be slightly tricky so gravity free zone is given and uh, concept wise here you can see uh, that uh, the b since uh, magnetic field lines are uh, going radially away in this manner so it has one component of uh, b tangential or you can say b parallel to the x and another one is b radial so now this due to tangential field at this point you can see here the net magnetic field on the ring is going to be zero because these uh, force components will be radial ideal cross b you can apply and you can check so this uh, component of magnetic field is going to give us zero field uh, zero force however this br it is going to act like this and ideal cross b if you see all these components will come parallel to x so all these components will be added together on the ring and i can write this uh, magnetic field due to this br component radial component which is i b b r into dl dl is integral dl will give us uh, 2 pi r so now this is the force which is going to pull the ring and eventually the disc also so somehow we have to find this uh, br part now finding br we can uh, use gauss uh, gauss theorem here uh, if we take a closed surface which is of the form of a cylinder so at general x uh, field is bx and at x plus dx field is uh, b at x plus dx that means i am taking this circle at x equal to x and i'm taking this circle at uh, x equal to x plus dx all right and uh, here i'm taking this uh, radius to be r uh, let's take this radius r same as ring otherwise r equal to r naught we need to substitute so here we are going to get uh, flux which is entering here and total flux has to be zero through closed surface this is the gauss law for magnetism so minus b x pi r square plus b x plus d x pi r square b r into 2 pi r d r that is the flux through the curved surface and this sum should be zero so when we simplify this we are going to get b at x plus d x minus b of x times r by 2 by d x is equal to b r so simply i can write this b r is nothing but r by 2 db by d x see there was another way of solving this uh, problem by taking considering this ring as a tiny dipole and we can uh, calculate the force on dipole in non-uniform magnetic field but the idea was here to give something new in this problem and uh, this is the uh, way of calculating radial component of field uh, normally we use uh, uh, this very rarely uh, so that's the reason 
for this concept to introduce in this problem because very less it is used and uh, though it's very nice and uh, very uh, different kind of results using gauss theorem in uh, uh, magnetism so now we can see here this fbr is known to us this fbr is known to us so due to this fbr and this is uh, uh, massless if it was having mass then uh, we have to write tension t here now since it is massless fbr and this tension in the string also is fbr friction is acting in forward direction and it will bring some acm and alpha so we can use this uh, equation of translation and rotation f plus fr is equal to m into acm and uh, torque equation about center of mass fb into r minus fr into r is equal to icm into alpha and that is uh, acm is uh, r alpha so by solving these equations we can get the fr or you can use the trick which i have used in uh, one of the problem in the channel and also in the regular classes i have been uh, uh, discussing this concept and have used very extensively in different problems so friction force on a rolling body we can write f times x minus kr by r times k plus one for a disc k is half mr square by two so coefficient of mr square in moment of inertia about cm so this friction force if i substitute the value we are going to get fb by three the same you will get from here as well so it's up to you how you are uh, uh, how do you want to use it so fr is equal to fb by 3 now fr is going to be less than or equal to maximum value of friction and maximum value of friction in this situation is going to be mu mg so we are going to get uh, this mu limiting value of mu to be it should be just greater than or equal to fb by 3 mg so in the end somehow i have to find this uh, magnetic uh, force which i have already calculated it was i times b radial into 2 pi r and b radial we have calculated r by 2 db by dx so if i substitute i times 2 pi r r by 2 db by dx this is the br so you will see uh, 2 and 2 gets cancelled it comes as i pi r square db by dx so guys you could treat this ring as a dipole also and uh, you can uh, write uh, force on dipole in non-uniform uh, b it gives the same expression but i think i have given you one more way of solving for b radial so b value is given here as uh, a naught r square plus x square to the power one by n we can calculate this db by dx and guys i'm not explaining this calculation uh, so here you can see for tiny ring uh, this r is uh, tending to zero in that situation uh, though it is r naught but it is a very small value in that situation bx is actually b naught which is given in the problem so from here we will get this uh, the x coordinate at which ring is placed the x coordinate at which ring is placed which is given by uh, here x naught square is equal to b by a naught to the power n uh, minus r square this coordinate is known to you so we can find out the value of d by dx uh, db by dx at that particular coordinate and it comes out to be a very big expression uh, however uh, expression wise we are not so uh, interested but uh, the concept of overall concept of this problem is important application uh, so this uh, 2 b by n divided by b naught by a naught to the power n by 2 times b naught by a naught to the power n minus r square to the power 1 by 2 this is going to be the db by dx now if i substitute this value here i am going to get this mu limiting as i pi r square by 3 mg times uh, this value so this is going to be the limiting value of mu i hope guys you have enjoyed this problem and it's a quite tricky problem quite challenging problem and if you have learned this uh, concepts uh, concepts involved in this problem it's a polyconceptual problem Please leave a like, share this problem with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it. I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.